Here are some pictures that I had gotten for birthdays or for Christmas. Pretty cool. Hang them on the stairwell going down towards my comic book room. Here is a Punisher sign I made out of particle board, paint, Deadpool. I love this figurine. I've changed his swords from the plastic ones it came with for some metal ones that were bought as hairpins. And my Deadpool sign I made out of 2 by 8 and some 1 8 thick MDF. Got a little Garfield. He's also hanging from my mirror. A little Deadpool guy. Some skulls. And another Deadpool figurine. As you can see, I'm a Calgary Flames fan. I also like to collect Hot Wheels cars. Created this hanger, put it on the end of the wall. So they can all stay in their packages. Got some more on the wall over here, as well as here. Created those hangers so that they can display the cars and they can still stay inside their packaging. A little Iron Man sign. Some acetates I've taken from comic books. I collect my Hot Wheels, trying to buy as many as what you might see on the road. These holders hold 24 comic or cars. Nice 86 Monte Carlo. All my blue ones. And I got another holder down here on the floor as I buy them. I just keep adding them to this. Another holder that I have created. Now I'm down in the basement here. Got myself some more pictures on the wall. Got my R2-D2 that I got in 1977. My brother bought that for me as a Christmas present. Deadpool cups. The drawing I made. Black Knight fighting the White Knight on a chessboard. And again, my brother bought me that for Christmas as well. Dale Earnhardt lamp. Got another one down here. Deadpool poster. And some original release of some of my favorite Jim Carrey movies. Old cassettes. Austin Powers, Dr. Evil, Beanbags. Got some Looney Tunes from KFC. Pez, Simpsons guys. Cool wallet, kind of Ghost Rider reminiscent. Some more pictures, movie poster, and the entrance to my room. Here we've got a picture I clipped saying, looking for something. No trespassing. And on the back side of the door, I have some more posters. More posters. Dazzler, Deadpool 300. And we've also got the Amazing Spider-Man number 300 poster. And an overview of my room again. I've got my ceiling tiles removed to give it a warehouse look. I can hang some stuff from the ceiling that way. Got a blanket on the ceiling. And I've got a blanket on the floor. Deadpool. And all my comics. All accessible. Today I've replaced some out that I would normally keep over here in full complete series they're pretty inaccessible so today I brought a few out to share with you as well I got some more figurines of Deadpool the family guy t-shirt drawing I did of X-Men 126 as well as the CGC 
And a t-shirt of the same. Now I'll get into the comic books. Again, they're all placed in alphabetical order. But I brought some out for you to see. That might be interesting. Here I've got the first appearance of Punisher. Sure, it's got a big rip in the top corner, but still nice to have. We've got a Green Goblin early edition. Early appearance of the Punisher. Another early appearance of the Punisher. I believe this is the first appearance of Jigsaw in this book. And then we've got the first appearance of Black Cat. The first Hobgoblin. The tattoos are inside the book. The second appearance of Hobgoblin. Got the first appearance of the symbiote costume that later becomes Venom. And we got some early McFarlane, 298, 299. These are in mint condition. And of course, the first appearance of Venom. Bought these brand new, so I was able to get them in perfect condition. Here we have, I believe, the first appearance of Carnage. There's a just a cameo appearance in this one. And then Carnage's first appearance. And then let's move up here. Yeah. We got some early Deadpool. This was his first mini series. Pair of copies of number three, number four, and then his next series. A couple copies of that one. Number three. Four. Then number one of his first ongoing series. And an early edition of him battling out with Hulk. And this one here, the bunny costume and cover. At the end of the first series, they put a flashback out. And an annual. Death pool up there. These are in my light, so they didn't tend to get a shine from the light on the ceiling. And let's move down here where I have some early Deadpool, or Daredevil, I should say. This was the first time that Black Widow joined Daredevil in his series. This was the First time Black Widow was included on the cover in her name. Here's a nice copy of number 100. I believe this was the last issue that Black Widow was in the book. Or this might have been that. And, of course, we got a first appearance of Bullseye. A second appearance of Bullseye. A 
First Frank Miller. First appearance of Electra. Second appearance of Electra. And then the death of Electra. This is the first appearance of Typhoid Mary. And we have some more key issues of Deadpool here. At number one. A variance to number one. Number two. Number two variant. Number three. This was his second series. Number three variant. First appearance of Evil Deadpool. He's got two left hands. And this one here is number 34. There is also one where it flip flops. In the next series, number one. And a cool cover of Deadpool Venomized. This would be the flip flop version of number 34 on the wall. Can't see it flip flop too well. Okay, up here, out of my Fantastic Fours, I've got the first appearance of Black Panther. Black Panther, don't have a lot of his books, but in his books, I do have a nice number one, the 2005 series, as well as first appearance of Shuri. number one Black Panther and in the 2009 series another nice number one and a variant to that one we have an early Silver Surfer I believe it's his fourth appearance where he battles the thing Nice copy of number 100. And we're, the thing battles the Hulk. Nice copy. First appearance of the Airwalker. I believe it's a fourth appearance of Silver Surfer. First appearance of Thundra. of Terax. Beside there we've got a number one of Ghost Rider. That series went to number 81. The death of Ghost Rider or when his spirit leaves him. Number one of the following series. And that series ended at number four and these are the final issues kind of tough to get. I think they were lower print runs. And then another series, Ghost Rider number one. And a variant to that. Over here I have some early Iron Man. I brought this one out of the plastic to show that it's a double cover. That's something you come across very often. Very nice shape. Inside it we have first appearance of Thanos. It's the first Jim Rhodes. And the alcoholism cover. Here we got the first cameo of Riri Williams. Her 
first full appearance. Here I've got a Lady Deadpool. And some early machine man. These copies. And then first appearances of Maestro. Down here again we have first appearance of Wolverine. And a first appearance or second or third appearance of Wolverine. And then first appearance of Rocket Raccoon. Next issue. The nice Hulk battle of Wolverine. Here's a nice copy of this two or 377. Marvel Zombies is one of my favorites. This was a five issue series, but with all the variants. It was 11 copies in total. That one copies Spider Man number one. The final variant of number one. This one spoofing number 340 the Incredible Hulk. This one I believe spoofs number 180 of Daredevil. that we have Moon Knight number one that series went to number 38 another one hard to get Moon Knight Silent Knight and Divided We Fall another sought after book of course the New Mutants first appearance of Cable Print and Deadpool's first appearance. First appearance of X twenty three. Let's go look at some other stuff here. Like we got the Nam number one. Over here we've got. First appearance of Marvel Zombies. A rare variant to that. And then my Wolverine. We've got number one. A limited four issue series. Number two. Number three. Number four. And then number one of a 189 issue series, first appearance as Patch. First battle between Wolverine and Sabretooth. Nice die cut cover number 50. And then number 100, we've had a cool variant to that one. Number 145, got some chrome blades and some Deadpool appearances. As well as in the annual. This would be considered the first annual to the Wolverine series. And the first appearance of Old Man Logan. Over here we've got first appearance of Archangel. 
first cameo of Apocalypse. In the first Apocalypse. And we've got the second appearance of Deadpool. The third appearance of Deadpool. And we've got the second series of X-Men here. All the copies of number one. There's five different covers released. And this one here folds right out to four pages wide. This was the first appearance of Omega Red. And up top here I brought out some X-Men. X-Men 94, number 100, first appearance of Emma, or Emma Frost, or no, Phoenix, first Alpha Flight, first full Alpha Flight, and here's the first appearance of Emma Frost. Appearance of Dazzler. This is going to be the death of Phoenix. It's a really nice square brown. You don't come across too many in good shape. First appearance of Rogue. First time she joins the X-Men. This is baby Nathan's first appearance prior to Cable's first appearance. First appearance of Jubilee. First appearance of Gambit. First Bishop. Second appearance of Bishop. Here there was a first minor appearance of Gambit. Early issues of X-23. The first series ended at number 544. Here we've got Web of Spider-Man number one. First time Jane Foster is called Thor, Don the Hammer. Again, some more overview of my books here. An X-Men sign that I had created of two by fours. I don't know what else I could show you that might be interesting. We've got some really gambit here. I wanted to show you this one. We've got a black cover. And also the gold cover. Very few of them were printed. I got all my comic book guides here. I try to buy one every year. And uh, that's pretty much all I can show you for today.